What's going on, ladies and gentle friends? How's everybody doing today? I'm glad I'm back to see you in another video. And today I'm going to be discussing a bit of a more serious topic that can possibly steer you guys towards day trading Forex or it might make you reconsider even trading Forex in the country that you live in, which would be the United States. The title of this video is day trading forex in the united states and that's essentially what i'm going to be covering i did some hunting today on other youtube channels to see what information i could find out there and i have to say that the information that i did come across was extremely sad right like i'm not going to be throwing down these youtubers in any way that's not what i'm here to do okay i'm just Everything I say on any of my YouTube videos, even the Hunter FX, is just the truth. It's all I'm bringing to you guys. So we're gonna be profiling a few YouTubers that did do a video on day trading and specifically taxes in the United States. And they all have a common theme. For valuable because you need this, but first and foremost, I am not a tax professional. I repeat, I am not a tax professional. I am not a tax professional. Yes, I did say it. I'm not a tax professional. I'm just a trader. I'm just an investor. So please, guys, if you're not going to go to jail, okay? So, basically, what happens is, I'm not a tax professional. Let's get that out the way. I'm not a tax professional. I'm not somebody that's a tax professional. So, all of this is, like, basically, on research that, you know, from books or the internet. That's what I would recommend. And I'll make it very clear. I'm not a licensed CPA. I'm not an accountant. But I'm giving you guys this because this is by far the most highly anticipated question that's being asked. And I don't think nobody and YouTube on YouTube as a portrait is even talking about taxes. Which you're gonna see. And like I said, it's just, it's the information is a little sad. So I'm gonna be giving you guys all the information that I have is information that I found on the government website. Okay, so I'm myself not a tax professional, but at the same time, I can't see how you have to be a professional in order to know how to do your taxes. It doesn't really make sense to me, but like I said, it's a common theme among all the videos. I'm not gonna do too much talking. I wanna get right into the video and start by really breaking down why Forex is so regulated in the United States and the reason why a lot of the brokers that are regulated offshore were scared away in the 2008 recession. Okay, so like I said, I don't wanna make the intro too long, but let's get right into this stuff, guys. First thing I want to start off by saying is why is it in your best interest to trade under a regulated Forex broker? Well, long term, when you honed your strategy and you've spent thousands of hours trying to master this market and it comes time to start paying yourself, you don't want any issues when it comes to hitting that withdrawal button and to ensure that a regulated broker is within your best interest if you intend okay to take this to a point where you're going to be relying on this of a as a sole source of income if not your second or your third source of income you need your money to be safe okay so when i see people out there advertising traders way advertising hugo's way it makes no sense to me because they're basically, like I said, they're selling you a course where they're selling you signals and they're telling you that this is a way for you to improve your lifestyle. If this is a way for you to improve your lifestyle, these people who are selling these courses and signals need to give you the parameters of how you're going to last. 
you need to pay your taxes. So with that being said, trading with a regulated United States broker is very different than trading with Trader's Way and trading with Hugo's Way. So significantly different. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it may actually steer you away from day trading Forex in the United States. First thing I want to discuss, the DODD, the Dodd-Frank Act. What is it? You're about to see a pop up on the screen now. So the Dodd-Frank Act. In the United States, the Dodd-Frank Act constitutes the primary body of rules governing Forex trading. Signed into law in 2010 by President Obama, it reformed insufficient financial regulation that allowed too much leeway to a financial institution, which contributed to causing the 2007 and 2008 financial crisis. These regulations have scared off both Forex brokers and retail traders. There are fewer Forex brokers currently operating in the US compared to other areas in the world. All right. Now, from this information, there are only seven regulated brokers left. And here are a list of those seven regulated brokers and then we're going to discuss the actual regulations that regulate them. We got Forex.com, we got Oanda, we got TD Ameritrade, ATC Brokers, Think or Swim, Interactive Brokers, Ali Invest. All right. So these are the seven brokers that are still regulated and we are going to discuss those specific regulations right now. So there are two institutions that regulate Forex in the United States. You have the CFTC, which stands for the Commodity Future Trading Commission, and you have the NFA, the National Futures Association. These are the two regulations, like I said, that regulate Forex in the United States. So now that we're slightly aware of what the Dodd-Frank Act consists of, slightly, we are going to be doing another video where we're going to be actually dissecting those rules that were put upon Forex trading. And it's going to reveal the reasons why it has scared off retail traders and brokers alike. Now, for anybody watching this video, you need to take that into consideration and kind of take it serious. If a lot of traders were scared off due to these regulations, and if a lot of brokers were scared off due to these regulations, this is something that is alarming to me and it really proves that you need to do your homework when you start trading from the United States. Unless you're going to become a guru who's going to be selling courses and claiming that income as basically saying that you're selling courses and you're not trading, then, like I said, I don't see the longevity in trading Forex in the United States. Now, don't take that too serious yet with a grain of salt because we're obviously going to be dissecting the rules that have been put upon day trading Forex in the United States. All right. So once we dissect those rules, that's really going to let us know that if it's within your best interest to continue to trade Forex from USA. Okay. At the end of the day, I don't want this to deter you from day trading in a whole, still learn technical analysis and still study charts. Don't ever stop doing that. Because there may come a time where you, you never know, you might relocate, you might go to somewhere where you're going to be capable of opening up a properly regulated broker that won't have so much trade restrictions. Okay. So take that with a grain of salt and just continue to practice charts. But at this point, once we go through that dot act and see what's actually restricting the foreign exchange market in the United States, that's when we're going to really know 
where we stand and where you guys go through or what you guys do in the future when it comes to Forex, okay? Second thing I wanted to cover was now the information and the videos that I found on Forex on YouTube when it comes to day trading Forex in the United States. I found quite a few videos and I went through pretty much most of them or all of them that I could have and I just want to take a few snippets from each of those videos and just highlight. Also I went to channels where people are gurus from the United States and I basically searched through their channel and some of them didn't even have videos on how you're supposed to be going about things when it comes to day trading from the US, okay? Like I said, anybody that wants to tell me about Hugo's way and Trader's way, I don't wanna hear it, okay? Just, you can pass me with it. I don't put my money in places where I don't know I'm gonna get it back, simple as that. If you've taken a withdrawal from them, great, good for you, but when, it starts to, when I start to get the hundreds of thousands of dollars, I need some form of insurance, okay? So Hugo's way, Trader's way, you guys could pass me with that BS, and please, anybody watching this video, let me know if you're using any of these brokers regulated under the CFTC or the NFA, all right? So let's get right into those small snippets. And like I said, I'm not dogging any of these YouTubers, but this information is just alarming to know that these people are trying to put this information out there, but like I said, not one of them even tried to discuss the Dodd-Frank Act. Let's get it. You get a form, right? You get a form from the casino. I don't know if you guys ever got one, but anything more than $600 for the lottery, for the casino, right? You get a, you get a 1099, I think, a 1099 something form. I forget the letter. You have to pay at least, what, with federal, the federal tax rates. Like My goal was usually to do like two to 500 a day. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less. Uh, so a lot of the times I usually uh, would try to do at least 20 something percent of my, whatever I earn and withdraw, whatever I withdraw, try to do 20% of that and put that in a separate savings account. So if you have like a business account, you can open up a savings and then whatever you make. Very tax income. So when you are trading, especially as a beginner, guys, you're just filing it as ordinary income. You just, you know, as if you were going out there and you were working a second job or you was cutting lawn and you wanted to file. I mean, people, I know I'm get this question like, do I have to report it? Do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? I mean, I mean, you do what you want to do. Most of the people that's watching this video are going to be grown. I ain't saying don't, but, you know, you're not trying to get locked up for no, for tax today. You feel me? You're not trying to get locked up for that. So, I would say anything over $10,000, you might want to report that to the IRS and pay whatever you got to pay. Please to this, y'all. They do give you one on here, which is Bank of America, but if you go and do try to open up a business bank account and you try to tell them that you're doing foreign exchange, they probably not going to let you open it, okay? Now, what we had to do, uh, like I said, it's completely up to how y'all want to do it, but this is what we did. Uh, we just told them that we, you know, we it, we sell courses and things like that for the foreign exchange market because they were asking, like, do you trade in the foreign exchange? I guess they consider it as, like, a risky investment, so they don't want, they don't do... A I really appreciate you guys tuning into this one. Like I said, I didn't want to make it too long. Uh, I wanted to start with the motherland when I was planning on doing these designated videos on day trading in specific countries but as we said we're gonna have a lot to dig through when it comes to the usa and the dodd frank act we're gonna leave that alone for now so with that being said u.s citizens with the dodd frank act alone you should be concerned on how you're currently trading and how you intend to trade in the future. Maybe Forex may not be the best fit for people trading in the United States. You may have other options, and I'm sure you do have other options, that will be, I would assume, in your best interest, okay? Like I said, Dodd-Frank Act alone should be alarming to you guys, all right? I appreciate you tuning into this video. Go out, do your research, safe trading okay guys like comment if you want to subscribe subscribe okay i do enjoy when people like and comment though all right so dislike and comment if you have to as well if you didn't like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one all right ciao